coming here about the structure of the eye we know that eye is one of the very important sense organ as we discussed used for the sense of sight vision avuna so here we say that eye is one of the sense organ which contains some you know structures like eyelids eyelashes eyebrows and even lacrimal glands lacrimal glands ante gurtunda you know in previous sessions we discussed that tears the water that comes from the eye is nothing but through the lacrimal glands so we say that eye is one of the structure which contains eyelids eyelashes eyebrows and even lacrimal glands now talking about the structure the thin layer is present which is called as conjunctiva it covers the front portion of the eye mana eye ki front portion ni cover chese a thin layer ni manam conjunctiva antam well we say that eyeball is located where in a particular location we say as a socket danni manam eye socket antam so eye is present in the eye socket that is located in the eye socket and moreover we say in the low one sixth part of the eyeball is the only visible part ante manaki visible ga kanipinche part adi only one sixth part Part, right so this is one of the very important point even under the neat foundation so we say only one sixth portion is the one eyeball which is visible to us and we say it contains three layers can you guess ain't we yes the first one we say it as a sclerotic layer or the sclerant then the second layer is said to be as a choroid layer where the third one we say it is as a retina so we say the three layers as sclera choroid layer and retina where we say sclera which is the outermost layer of the structure of the eye which is very tough fibrous in nature non elastic and it has a white colored layer right so this is one of the feature of the first layer that is sclera right they we say that sclera ipite bulge avutundo when the sclera bulges it forms a structure we say it as cornea now the end of this sclera is sclera ka end em avutundi it gets connected to a nerve we say it as optic nerve avuna so optic nerve is the one which helps in you know taking the impulses of the sight or vision that we look with our sense organ that is the eye and our impulses ni brain degar teeskelli written messages and evi mana structure ki eye structure ki pampisai and moreover we will able to detect the particular object with our eye understand so this is actually the process avuna so in every sense organ the nerves help in carrying the impulses that are received means messages received cheskuntai organ edithe capture chesindo taking not only the eye here we can take the other sense organs like ear so whatever the sound we listen our impulses ni teeskoni brain ki pampinchi written messages ni our organ ki ichi action ni exhibit chese varike prati oka sense organ ki sambandhinchina nerve chese function right so here optic nerve also does the same function so i think the the end of the sclera is connected to the optic nerve so we see the second layer that is the choroid layer which is said to be you know black in color and it is black color lo untundi and moreover it contains a lot of blood vessels this is said to be the second layer that is choroid layer avuna because first layer is sclerotic layer ana which is called as sclera and the second layer is called choroid layer i say here very important point is that it encloses the eye except the part called as the pupil pupil ni tabba meetha anni parts of the eye ni adi cover che so it covers the eye completely it encloses the eye completely except the pupil part right and again a part formed by the choroid layer around this pupil dhanne manam iris antam remember yes this is the structure called as iris which is said to be you know the part that is formed by the choroid layer around the pupil in the choroid layer edite pupil ni cover chestundo right around the pupil now that structure ne manam iris anantam now we say this iris contains the radial and the circular muscles now we say that it is a biconvex lens present immediately behind the pupil which is attached to two first one we see the ciliary muscles and then the suspensory ligaments so these are the two structures which are attached nothing but immediately behind the pupil now we say lens is divided you know it divides the inner space into two chambers in there are two chambers first one we say it is as aqueous chamber the second one is said to be as a vitreous chamber 
So aqueous chamber and vitreous chamber. Now these are the two liquid portions where we say the aqueous chamber consists of fluid whereas the vitreous chamber consists of a jelly like substance. Well the third structure is said to be as the retina which contains rods and cones. So, retina and a third structure of only cells rods and cones and them, which contains rhodopsin and iodopsin you know the pigments which are helpful in in identifying the objects in the more light and in dark where these cells contains iodopsin and rhodopsin pigments helps in detecting the objects in light and dark matter. Well, we will learn about that when we talk about the functioning of the eye. Now, we even say that there are some areas of no vision. Yes, E area ne manam blind spot ani anta, right? Whereas, area of best vision, we say this is as a yellow spot, dan ne manam macula ani anachu, even fovea, right? So, we say this as blind spot and the area of best vision ni manam yellow spot and tam or we say that as particularly fovea or the macula. Macula ni anachu lakte fovea ni koda anachu. So these are the you know different structures of the eye. Now come on let's understand what are the functions of all these parts and how it helps in making the eye work and helps us to see you know that is nothing but the sense of sight. Oh.